Hello everybody, my name is Jeremy Eck with the Boathouse Group. Today we're going to do a little tutorial video on what to do once you get your boat back to the dock, back on your trailer. Things that you can do to truly help keep the beauty of your boat, keep that showroom-like finish on your boat, help keep the longevity of your interior cushions, your anchors, your motors, the whole nine yards. So to start off, I'm going to talk about a few different cleaning products that I personally like to use to help keep my boat looking new and, and keeping that showroom finish. Start off, obviously you're gonna need a bucket, you're gonna need your boat soap. Any standard boat wash or car wash soap will do just fine. You just wanna be able to get it to suds up to help clean, clean up any of those different products that, that are on the boat, whether that be any staining from fish, from drinks, salt spray, the whole nine yards. A product that I personally really like is this Woody's Ultra Pine Wash and Wax Soap. I think it works really well. You do not need a whole lot of it. It suds up nice to help clean that boat and keep it really looking good. Another nice product is gonna be this 303 tier protection. What this is good for is um, any of your different vinyls or um, seat cushions, anything like that. It helps keep them, gives a little bit of film. It's a UV protectant, the whole nine yards there. And then finally, I like to use Spray 9. It's a degreaser, you don't need a whole lot of it. I use this mostly for different troublesome areas, whether you've got a stain that you can't get out with standard soap, or a spot that won't come up, blood and fish guts that won't come up. Um, anything that's stained hard, this is really good for a spot treatment to go ahead and get that out. A couple other products I like to use. First off is a telescoping brush. It's nice because when you're trying to truly scrub hard on something, you've got a nice long pole then to be able to kind of push down and scrub harder on that. Um, this one here is a three to six foot pole. It'll work great for just about any size boat. And then on the end of it, I use two different types of brushes. I use this soft brush, which is um, with this brand, it's a yellow color. And then I also use the medium brush. The reasons I use the two different ones, the medium brush I really like to use for your non-skid surfaces, for your seat cushions, stuff like that. It scrubs a little bit harder to get any stains out or get any, any of the grit out of that uh, non-skid. Whereas that softer brush or the ultra soft brush is gonna be a lot better for your gel coated surfaces. So those really nice finished surfaces, the exterior of the boat surfaces, anything that doesn't have a rougher texture to it. I like to use this soft brush. And then finally, I really like uh, just one of these um, wash mitts, a microfiber wash mitt. It's really good for wiping down your electronics area. Um, something that you don't wanna really scrub hard. You just wanna get a quick wipe down on. So, Going over products wise, that's the typical day to day products that I will use at the end of a, a boating day. Um, you can get a lot more, you know, hardcore deck cleaners or hardcore degreasers if you're gonna do a deep clean. But for your standard day to day wash, that all, all those products will work great. So when it comes time to wash the boat, one thing that a lot of people do forget about doing is if you've got a, a windlass or an anchor up front, they'll, they'll forget to rinse that out. Make sure you're getting that all rinsed out because that line and road and all is bent in salt water. That will corrode over time, get salt and all the salt residue down in the bilge, the whole nine yards. So make sure you open that up, rinse it off, get that nice and clean as well. As I'm working through a boat, my kind of my, my steps I'll do is I'll do all of my seat cushions and everything first, get them cleaned off with soap and water. That way I can take them off and then pull them off, throw them to the side, whether it be on the dock, on the ground, whatever, and then you can get to all of your gel coat, non-skid surfaces as well. Another th nice thing that I like to do is once I'm done for the day, open up some of your hatches, let them breathe out. That way, in case there is any water or moisture inside of there, especially if you have that filled with life vests or anything like that, you don't want mold and everything growing on everything. So while you're, while you're finishing up and moving towards the back of the boat, open up these compartments, let them breathe, let them air out. So again, I'll clean all the way up in the front, start moving back slightly. Um, in terms of the dash, like I mentioned, a lot of times I'll just get my, my cloth wet, whether it just be a microfiber rag, one of, the, one of these style um, rags, and just do a quick wipe over on everything as it's wet. That way I'm not getting a whole bunch of um, you know, soap all over it. I'm not getting water all over the place in here. I'm more just doing a quick wipe down just to get any of that salt residue off the screens, off your dash, all of your electronics. It just really helps with that. Um, this microfiber 
towel is also really good for windshields, what, if it's a glass or plastic windshield. The nice part about that, it's not going to scratch it, not going to you know, create any, any type of marking on that. So anything that you want to be super fine on, don't want to really rub too hard, this, this product is great for that. So again, clean out all of your compartments, um, open up doors and hatches, the whole nine yards. Just doing a quick clean on your boat really will help with keeping that showroom finish on your boat. It'll make it look better for the long term. It'll help with resale value down the road. Um, there's a lot of benefits. Plus, when your friends get on the boat, your boat looks clean, it looks good. Finally, the last thing I wanna go over, just to show everybody, is gonna be doing, hooking up some fresh water to your engines. We've got a lot of salt water in our area here in Southwest Florida. Make sure you are rinsing out those motors. It is very simple. I'm gonna show you how to do it on both the Yamaha and a Suzuki. It'll really, really help with the longevity of your motor. It helps with even when you're coming in for your annual services and everything, we can see the difference of someone that has rinsed out their motor and who hasn't. And there are times where you're gonna to have to replace more parts due to that corrosion if you did not rinse out your motor. So it is a really, really big benefit to do so. So follow me down here. I'll show you how to hook up these, uh, these motors. With this particular handle, actually, it's actually a really nice option for when you're cleaning off your boats. It's gonna have a threaded tip on it. It makes it really nice because I don't have to turn the water off to be able to hook up to my motors. So as you come around here on the Yamaha, it's gonna, your port's gonna be right here on the side. All you gotta do is unscrew this right here, screw your hose into it, and then you can go ahead and start with the water. You just turn your water on and it'll rinse down through your system. Once you're done, I recommend sitting, letting it run for about 10 minutes each motor, or if you got a single motor, it just really helps getting that out. And yes, ten, people think 10 minutes does seem like a long time, but by the time you're done emptying out your boat, bringing stuff up to the house, you know, or working on something else, it, it goes by pretty quickly. So like I mentioned on the Yamahas, you're gonna have a hose coming off the side of it. In terms of the Suzuki's, which I've got one sitting right next to me here, you're gonna have this port right here on the side as well. Same thing, you got your port right there. Just go ahead and hook your hose up into it, screw it in, and then let the water run. So each, oh, each motor brand's gonna have a little bit different port, but they're all gonna do the same thing. You do not have to start your motor um, on an outboard motor when you're flushing it. Just go ahead and plug that water in, let it gravity feed and self drain out. So, like we went over today, the biggest things that help in keeping your boat maintained and looking great is just putting a little bit of time and effort into the boat once you are done um, for the day. Just doing a quick clean around it will help keep that showroom finish lasting as long as possible. It'll help keeping your stainless from corroding because that salt getting on that stainless will start corrosion over time. So if you can at least rinse it off, clean it with some soap and water, that stainless will last you much longer and you'll have a lot less issues with rust and corrosion. If you have any other questions on any type of maintenance on the boat for day-to-day -day maintenance, feel free to give any one of us a phone call. Um, also check us out on our website or any of our other channels, whether that be YouTube, Facebook, or Instagram. Um, or just like I said, stop in and come see us. Uh, thank you again for watching today and we look forward to seeing you on the water soon. Thanks. Bye.